Good evening, I'm Leah Lando from 7 News and we are taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Today, the Erie County Legislature naming a Buffalo police officer, Joe McCarthy. It's July Citizen of the Month. He was one of three officers shot this past spring during a police chase that spanned across the city. Officer McCarthy was shot in the stomach and needed surgery to repair the damage. He was released from the hospital in early April. One of Niagara County's K-9 officers now has some extra protection when he goes into the field. The sheriff's office says K-9 Adam has received a bulletproof and stab proof vest. It's custom fitted for him and was given to the sheriff's office by vested interest in canines. We've heard from many of you at home about parking and road closure concerns for the Garth Brooks concert. We did reach out to the sheriff's office to find out their traffic plans around Highmark Stadium. All stadium lots open at 5 p.m. Saturday. Abbott Road in front of the stadium will close at 4 and stay closed until after the concert. Toward the end of the concert, both lanes of 20A will become one way heading eastbound. All right, let's check in with Autumn Lewandowski for a look at your forecast. Well, we have temperatures in the mid 60s for tonight. The winds are going to be much more relaxed. Just a nice breeze for the overnight. Our hour by hour forecast is going to keep us dry for the night as well. And for the day tomorrow, we are going to see that southwest wind come back into play. Not as gusty and that's going to allow downtown Buffalo not really to have a chance for rain showers, but into the afternoon south and east of Buffalo, a better threat for some heavier downpours in there and even north of Buffalo along the lake breeze through uh, areas right near that Niagara Erie County border. Then into the evening, we essentially just dry everything out. We do have the potential to have some stronger storms across the deeper southern tier in northern Pennsylvania. Our temperatures for tomorrow are going to be right in the low 80s.